fire tears through a huge multi-million dollar match in Annapolis. Tonight, the investigation into what sparked that fire and the unaccounted for people who may have been inside. Good evening, everybody. That's our big story tonight at 6. That fire broke out early this morning, and fire investigators tell us they still cannot account for the home's residents. No one's been able to reach them. And tonight, fire officials have confirmed that six family members are unaccounted for. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell is in Annapolis. She's been there all day on this story. Here's her report. Well, that is the mystery tonight. Where is the family that lived inside of that home? Now, at this hour, firefighters say they're unable to search the premises because of the size of the home and the hot spots that continue to exist. A fire rips through an Anne Arundel County mansion, leaving the $6 million home in rubble. Firefighters say the call came in around 3.30 Monday morning. They arrived within two minutes, but say flames were already shooting through the roof. When we first arrived, the fire was already very advanced. Um, the first crew reported that there was fire on the first and second floor and already through the roof. They did attempt to make an entry to try to do some search and rescue, but were almost immediately pushed back by high heat conditions. It took more than 80 firefighters to put out the blaze. Investigators say the biggest concern is finding the family that lived there. Public records show the homeowners as Donald and Sandra Pyle. Records also show Donald Pyle is the COO of an IT company called Science Logic, based in Western Virginia. Some neighbors say as many as six people may have lived in the home. Now they're fearing the worst. I believe the grandchildren were with them. The grandparents and the grandchildren, which is a tragedy because someone's lost their parents and their children at the same time, which is very sad. Came to several Cal Ripken events here, and uh, they're great neighbors. Couldn't ask for better neighbors. Carol Bugowski lives next door to the piles and says the couple always looked out for their neighbors. They knew I was a football fan, and they gave me a football filled with candy. Fire investigators believe the home did not have a sprinkler system but did have a monitored fire alarm system. Firefighters say another challenge in putting out the flames was a lack of fire hydrants nearby. The closest fire hydrant is more than a mile away, so what we did was we set up a drafting site and we did a tanker shuttle from that hydrant. And then in addition, we brought in a fire boat uh, that's stationed at Sandy Point and it tied up to the pier and it, it provided water to the scene. Federal authorities, more specifically members of the ATF, are assisting in this investigation. Now, we are told by firefighters that a search for the premises won't be conducted until Tuesday. Reporting from Annapolis, Karen Campbell, WBAL TV 11 News.